In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create groups, add users to groups, and edit group settings. To access from the account tab, click on groups. In this example, we already have two groups set up, one called HR and one called purchasing. Let's create a third by clicking on the plus icon, typing a name, and then clicking save. So now we need to add users to this group, and there are a number of different options. I can add new users directly by clicking on group settings, then clicking on users in group, and then creating a new user and adding them directly to that group by clicking the plus or add icon. And remember that anytime you create a new user, an email will be sent to the user to register their account before they'll appear as an active user in the group. You can also assign existing users to the group using this button here, assign users to group. Just click on the user, click select user, and then click assign. Now, another way to add users to groups is by editing individual user settings back on the user page. So let's select a user, click edit user, and then I can add them to any group I want by making the selection from this dropdown. You can also assign users to groups when you first create them by clicking on the drop down here as shown. To make a user a group administrator on the edit user dialog, just check the group administrator checkbox. Now the user has administrator privileges for that group and can add users and edit settings. Finally, one of the benefits of groups is that you can customize account settings specifically for that group. Just click on the group click group settings, and then click on the settings page that you want to adjust for that group from this list here. Check the override account settings for this page dialog box and make any changes that you want to the settings. Make sure that you click save when you're done. And then those settings will apply to that group specifically.